Imagine a world where calculations are no longer bound to a single reality but unfold across multiple universes simultaneously. Scientists working on Google's revolutionary Willow chip don't fully understand the depths of its power, yet they recognize that it marks the most significant technological breakthrough in human history. And remarkably, all of this is happening while most of the world remains unaware of its profound implications. What if every computation ever made wasn't confined to one universe but took place across many? Could the key to solving the impossible lie in accessing realities beyond our perception? Google's Willow chip has redefined the landscape of quantum computing, pushing the boundaries of both technology and our understanding of reality itself. This extraordinary quantum processor recently achieved a feat so staggering that it has left the scientific community both awed and questioning the very nature of existence. Willow solved an immensely complex problem in under five minutes, a problem so intricate that even the most advanced supercomputers on Earth would require an estimated 10 septillion years, a number with 25 zeros, to complete it. Some researchers speculate that this astonishing computational power might hint at a deeper connection to parallel universes, suggesting that calculations could be occurring across multiple realities at once. In this exploration, we will delve into Willow's groundbreaking achievement, the multiverse hypothesis that has sparked intense debate, and the skepticism that persists among experts. Classical versus quantum computing, a fundamental shift. To fully grasp the magnitude of Willow's success, it is essential to understand the fundamental difference between classical and quantum computing. Traditional computers process information using bits, binary units that exist as either zero or one. Quantum computers, however, rely on qubits, which leverage the strange and counterintuitive principles of quantum mechanics. Unlike classical bits, qubits can exist in a state of superposition, meaning they can be both zero and one at the same time. Furthermore, qubits can become entangled, a phenomenon where the state of one qubit is instantaneously linked to another, regardless of the distance between them. These properties allow quantum computers to process an astronomical number of possibilities simultaneously, something that classical machines simply cannot replicate. The Willow Breakthrough, a leap beyond imagination. What makes Willow's accomplishment so extraordinary is the nature of the problem it solved. The chip was tasked with generating outputs for a random distribution benchmark, a challenge that involved navigating incredibly complex and entangled quantum patterns. For classical computers, this task was practically impossible, requiring an inconceivable amount of time. Yet, Willow completed it in less than five minutes. This achievement marks a defining moment in what scientists call quantum supremacy, the point at which a quantum computer surpasses even the most advanced classical systems. This is not Google's first claim of quantum supremacy. In 2019, the company unveiled a 50-qubit chip that solved a problem in 200 seconds, a task Google argued would take traditional supercomputers 10,000 years. IBM later challenged this claim, suggesting that the problem could be solved using classical methods in just a few days. However, with 105 qubits, Willow represents an exponential leap forward. Each additional qubit doubles the computational power of a quantum processor, meaning Willow is not just marginally better than its predecessor, it is exponentially more powerful. Adding to its significance, Willow incorporates advanced error correction techniques, a crucial step toward practical quantum computing. Quantum systems are notoriously fragile, easily disrupted by environmental disturbances that introduce errors. Google's innovations in stabilizing qubits and improving error correction make Willow not only faster but also significantly more reliable. What does this mean for the future? At present, Willow's achievement remains largely theoretical. Solving the random distribution benchmark does not have immediate practical applications, but it demonstrates the transformative potential of quantum computing. In the future, machines like Willow could revolutionize fields such as cryptography, drug discovery, material science, and climate modeling. The possibilities are boundless, and this milestone offers a tantalizing glimpse into what lies ahead. But beyond the practical applications, Willow's success has ignited a debate about a more profound question. Is quantum computing tapping into parallel universes? Parallel universes, science or speculation? The notion of parallel worlds may sound like science fiction, but it is rooted in serious physics, specifically the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics tells us that particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously, a phenomenon known as superposition. However, when these particles are measured, they appear to collapse into a single state. 
The widely accepted Copenhagen interpretation explains this collapse as a fundamental feature of quantum mechanics. But what if those other states never actually disappear? Physicist David Deutsch, a pioneer in quantum theory, proposed the many worlds interpretation, which suggests that every possible outcome of a quantum event exists in its own parallel universe. In this view, when you flip a coin, it lands heads in one universe and tails in another. If applied to a quantum computer like Willow, this hypothesis suggests that its calculations may be unfolding across countless parallel realities, with a final answer emerging in our universe as a product of computations occurring across multiple worlds. This idea, if true, could provide a breathtaking explanation for the seemingly magical speed of quantum computing. The skeptics view, a more grounded explanation? Not everyone subscribes to the multiverse hypothesis. Many physicists, favoring the Copenhagen interpretation, argue that quantum states simply represent probabilities that collapse into a single outcome when measured, without the need to invoke parallel worlds. Regardless of whether quantum computers interact with alternate realities or simply exploit quantum mechanical principles, Willow's achievement is undeniably monumental. However, skepticism remains. Critics argue that Willow's success, while remarkable, involved solving a theoretical problem with no immediate real-world utility. Physicist Sabine Hassenfelder has compared such quantum supremacy experiments to building the fastest race car and testing it on an empty track, exciting, but not yet transformative. Moreover, scalability remains a major challenge. While 105 qubits represent a significant leap forward, practical quantum computing will require millions of qubits working reliably and without errors. Despite Google's advances in error correction, the field still has a long journey ahead. The road ahead, a new era of discovery. None of these challenges diminish the importance of Willow's achievement. Every milestone, no matter how theoretical, brings us closer to a future where quantum computers could solve problems beyond our current comprehension.